more than 40 million women face health issues after childbirth. Let's understand from Dr. Mukesh how women can prioritize their health and take care of their overall well-being. Today we have with us Dr. Mukesh Sankar, MS Orthopedics. Doctor, what causes orthopedic conditions in women? Uh, like in men and women behave uh, quite differently in uh, orthopedic relations. Uh, in women, there are more orthopedic problems uh, such as osteoporosis is more common. Osteoarthritis is uh, earlier at, at an earlier age. There are uh, many issues such as lower back pain and radiating pains. More commonly, we see those problems in women. All the tendinitis and joint problems are all more, are more commonly seen in women. So yes, uh, the diseases remain the same. But the spectrum of disease, the prevalence of disease are more commonly seen in women. So that uh, makes a difference between men and women uh, if we face uh, orthopedic problems. Doctor, what are some of the common symptoms that indicate the onset of orthopedic conditions in women? As I already said, uh, the diseases remain the same in men and women. But the presentation is at an early age. Uh, women tend to have osteoarthritis, say if we talk about osteoarthritis of the knee joint which affect both the knee joint at an advanced age, then women seem to have this condition at an earlier age. Women tend to get osteoarthritis of the knee joint at the age of 50 years compared to men who have this at the age of 65 years. And again the symptoms are pain, swelling around the knee joint, difficulty in sitting down and getting up from squatting position or uh, kneeling down. So those are the common symptoms around the knee joints. Again, women tend to have more uh, back aches with radiating pains. One of the causes can be because of uh, pregnancy and deliveries and anesthesia related to do that. Again, shoulder problems, neck problems are more common. And these are these present to us with pain, uh, inflammation. There can be spasm in the area. And these uh, go on to nerve symptoms like tingling and numbness. These are the common symptoms that we see. Doctor, how does footwear impact orthopedic conditions in women? Uh, footwear co can cause many problems in both male and female. In females and women, these are more commonly seen again. This is because uh, uh, of many factors, because of the hormonal differences between men and female women, there is difference in the levels of calcium and vitamin D in the body. That causes more uh, problems in females. Uh, if we talk about the foot problems, women have more common symptoms of uh, plantar fasciitis, uh, pain around the ankle joints, retrocalcaneal bursitis. These, one of the factors which uh, increase the prevalence of these diseases in women is because uh, we see women nowadays wearing more hard slippers and, uh, and not very comfortable slippers compared to men. They tend to wear more of heels. That is also one of the causes that foot problems are more common in females. In rural India, most of the females who wear uh, do not uh, wear uh, footwear or a comfortable footwear that also increases the incidence of uh, foot problems in women. But how can women manage such conditions then? Again, uh, you have to identify that condition that you are suffering from so and so condition and then you will have to report it to a doctor. Basically what happens is women do not uh, tend to bring it to notice to anyone. They think that it's just a pain and they'll manage it at home. When the pain or when the problem becomes out of hand, then only they tend to seek medical attention. And this, this should not be done. Ideally, if you have a problem, the first thing is to identify it yourself. Then only you can take help or take medical attention for that. So uh, whenever you have symptoms such as pain or swelling around, a knee, around any joint, say in the body, if you have any inflammation, redness in any part of the body, then you should seek medical attention as soon as possible. What kind of dietary modification should be done by a woman so that they can avoid such conditions? Yeah, uh, as I already told you that in females, we have to see the bone mineral density, which is BMD in short. The BMD, uh, the bone density increases in females to the age of 30 years and then it starts to decrease. Where compared to male, the bone density increases till 45, 50 years and then gradually it declines. This is because of the hormonal difference. So if you have to maintain good diet or if you have, if you want to achieve that the bone density of females be strong, then you'll have to start early. So this dietary modifications and monitoring of bone density in females should start in early age, even in school and colleges. The basic elements remain the same. The diet should be rich in calcium, rich in uh, vitamin D, rich in protein so that the density increases. The main 
baseline is that we have to increase the density of the bone so that the bones are stronger we have to motivate them for exercise and everything so that the muscle strength is also there to support the bones if the muscle strength and the bone strength remain strong then the chances of having an orthopedic problem decreases doctor are there specific screening tests to monitor the bone density in women uh, again, uh, the bone density has to be monitored both uh, in the blood and by other means. In blood investigations, we advise uh, women to undergo tests such as calcium levels, the vitamin D levels, the vitamin B12 levels and other factors which are related to bone health. It is more about prevention actually because uh, most of the bony problems and most of the patients that we see in the OPD can be prevented if you are more aware and if you present at the correct time. Like I already said, if you have osteoporosis, they give almost no symptoms. Mm. But if you get it checked regularly at intervals, then you'll come to know that you're suffering from osteoporosis and you can get treated accordingly. But if you do not get it checked and you continue with that, your bones get become weaker and weaker. With time, you are more prone to developing fractures. If you see females, we have uh, three most common fractures at the wrist joint, mm. at the hip joint and in the spine, which are only because of osteoporosis. And it can be prevented if you uh, prevent, if you diagnose it and time and get treated. Just this, sari dunya hum pe wari hai. Ab maa ki health ki wari hai. 